A red logo appears. VLUX. Text. Installation series. Continuous vault installation. General overview. Continuous vault. Knocked down with ends assembled. A demonstration shows a person measuring four boards in a rectangle. Step 1. Ensure 3.5 inch curb has been properly prepared. Refer to file and field drawings for dimensions. Apply generous amount of sealant. Step 2. Lay out sills before setting on curb. See drawings. Step 3. Place sill on curb and confirm dimension. A tape measure sits on a metal frame now attached to the wood. Two workers measure diagonally across it. Step 4. Fasten frame to the curb. They adjust the frame on the wooden curb, then drill holes and screw the frame onto it. Step 5. Apply sealant to interior splice plates. A worker squeezes black sealant onto a flat piece of metal, bent like a staple at both sides. The worker presses the sealant-covered side of the splice plate into a slat in the middle frame and holds it in. He takes a paper towel and wipes off the excess of sealant. Step 6. Attach exterior splice plates, no sealant. A worker drills an angular metal plate onto the outer rim of the metal frame. Step 7. Place and secure ribs. A worker places several metal arches across the metal frame. He drills them into place to secure them. Step 8. Apply butyl tape to underside of purlin. The worker applies tape to the protruding edge of a metal bar with a slat running through it. He trims the ends of the tape with a box cutter. Step 9. Place and secure purlin. As another worker supports the ribs, the first worker places the taped ends of the purlin face down on the ribs, bridging two together. They drill them into place. Step 10. Insert interior glazing. The workers place a clear pane of plastic between the frame on each side of the purlin. A worker snaps them into place with putty knives. Step 11. Install rib divider gaskets. A worker places black rubber edges along the frame's edges over the interior glazing. Not as shown in field drawings. With a wire cutter, the worker trims the edges of the rubber and fits it into place. He repeats the process with another divider gasket. Step 12. Insert outer glazing into purlin. They fit a new sheet of plastic under the rim of the purlin, carefully arching it across the divider gaskets to the end of the frame. A worker tucks the edge of the outer glazing into the frame with a putty knife. The view pushes into a screw sitting at the end of the purlin. Step 13. Place and fasten rib caps. One worker holds a rib down as the other uses a power drill to screw bolts into place on it. They hold the end of a rib in place with a screwdriver as they bolt the rib down. Step 14. Place and tap on rib cap closure with rubber mallet. One worker secures a flat strip of metal over the bolted down rib, while another taps it into place with a mallet. The worker passes the mallet to his partner who taps the rest of it into place.
Step 15, apply sealant to purling cap and secure. A worker squeezes sealant onto the bottom of another metal strip, then places it over the purlin to the edge of the ribs. Another worker bolts the cover down through the holes in it. Step 16. Place and tap on purling cap closure. A worker uses a mallet to fix a metal plate over the purling cap. Step 17. Apply sealant. They squeeze black sealant at the edges of the purling cap on the rib. A worker uses his finger to spread it. Now a photo shows the finished product. A continuous vault stretches across an opening on a building's rooftop, forming a long, tunnel-like window. A red logo, Velux, bringing light to life.